I just watched a movie called Seoul의 봄, and the English title is 12, 12, The Day. The English title is so shitty. It's a Korean movie about a coup that happened in the end of 1979. It was surprisingly entertaining, and it was tension throughout once it just took off and it was very interesting throughout until the end even though it was a two hour 20 minute long movie but that's not the main thing i want to talk about i went to watch it with my friend eric and met up this other korean girl who wanted to watch it for the first time and it was funny because she herself she's been in toronto for six years but she said that she couldn't connect with canadians here and that these days she was actively trying to hang out with koreans but she said even koreans here were different from Koreans in Korea. I actually wanted to hear more about that, but the movie started. But the main point I want to make is that I couldn't connect through the conversation at all. And I thought, is it because she's so Korean and I'm so Canadian? And so I asked Eric, who also had a brief conversation with her while I was in the washroom. And Eric also being so Canadian, I mean, we were speaking in Korean, but our Koreans, me and Eric, our Koreans not that good. He said he couldn't really connect with her either conversationally. Like the conversation was just awkward. And I was thinking, can I actually not connect with any Koreans in general? Like are Korean Koreans so Korean and I'm so Canadian that there's just such a vast difference and a bit of a language barrier as well that I can no longer connect with Koreans? I mean, I'm Korean, but I've been so Canadianized. And it made me think even when I went back to Korea uh, several years ago and talked with a couple of my elementary school friends, there was a bit of a language barrier as well because I couldn't understand certain words that they were using and they couldn't understand the English words that I was trying to use because I couldn't, I didn't know how to say them in Korean. So there was a bit of language barrier as well, but they're really nice guys, the couple of guys from elementary school. And like for the most part, our thinking may be different, but we still got along really well. But I'm wondering, is that the exception? And for the majority of people from Korea, I'm unable to connect with them anymore because I'm just so culturally different. It's more than just a language barrier. Anyways, so Eric and I were talking about these cultural differences that we had with Korean people in the past, just sharing stories. And it just made me think I'm ethnically Korean, but maybe I'm just unable to connect with Koreans on a very deep level because I'm so Canadianized. Anyways, reviewing my day. Today, I watched a lot of YouTube. I watched over an hour, which is a lot for me. I haven't done that in a while. It was really fun, but right now it's 8.30 p.m. I didn't get my workout in. I was gonna work out after the movie, but it ended up being later than I thought. I want, I need to make this video right now. So it comes back to, I knew my morning would be disrupted with things I had to do, and yet I didn't plan around it. I didn't make a calendar scheduled around that. So uh, it comes back to having a calendar again. I have to have a calendar, something to strive towards, something to stick towards. It's funny because even though I've done made some stuff on the calendar, plans have gotten derailed in the past, but I have to keep trying again and again because I know that according to people who are super productive, using a calendar and learning to trust it and sticking to it is perhaps the best thing you can do to hitting your targets for the day, getting things done. So let's make tomorrow a better day. 1% better every day, baby. Rolling your eyes. <laughs> so cute. Piggy, piggy.